Things you should know about Maltese. They may be small in stature and they do fall under the toy category and can technically be carried in a purse, but their fearless personalities are anything but. This is a sprightly, vigorous dog who excels not only as a companion but also as a therapy dog and competitor in such dog sports as agility, obedience, rally, and tracking. Wherever he lives, the Maltese is responsive to his environment and makes an effective watchdog. Draped in long, silky white hair, the Maltese is a gentle, affectionate breed that makes the perfect companion for those looking for a petite pet. It is known for its sparkling personality and ease of fitting into any family situation but it is also important to know that it is a high-maintenance dog. If you are planning on bringing Maltese puppies into your family, here is the list of 14 things you should know about the breed. Origin The Maltese breed hails from Malta, an island in the Mediterranean Sea, and has been around since ancient times dating back as far as 500 BC. In fact, Aristotle was the first to reference the dog, calling the Maltese the Canis Melateus. The Maltese have picked up a number of nicknames along the way, including the Roman ladies' dog, the Maltese lion dog, and Koki, which originated on the East Coast in the 1960s. Personality In true fearless fashion, Maltese don't think twice about befriending anyone and are quick to make new pals. Because of his positive, people-oriented nature, the Maltese is eager to please and responds well to training through reinforcements such as treats or a good old petting. Like any dog, Training and socializing the Maltese from an early age will help him grow into a sweet, curious, and playful furry friend. Temperament Maltese are bred to be cuddly companion dogs. They are extremely lively and playful, and even as Maltese ages, their energy level and playful demeanor remain fairly constant. Some Maltese may occasionally be snappish with smaller children and should be supervised when playing, although socializing them at a young age will reduce this habit. They also adore humans and prefer to stay near them. Fragility. Too many people acquire a puppy without understanding how incredibly fragile a toy breed is. You can seriously injure or kill a Maltese by stepping on him or sitting on him when he's curled under a blanket or pillow, where he frequently likes to sleep. And Maltese can seriously injure or kill themselves by leaping from your arms or off the back of your sofa. A more giant dog can grab a Maltese and break his neck with one quick shake. This small dog needs constant supervision and surveillance. Maltese and small children. Maltese are not suited to young children, no matter how well-meaning the child. Children cannot help being clumsy, and that a child meant well is little solace to a Maltese who has been accidentally stepped on, sat on, rolled on, squeezed, or dropped onto the patio. In addition, most Maltese feel overwhelmed by the loud voices and quick movements that children can't help making, and stress, even defensive biting, may be the result. Indoor Dogs under no circumstances should a Maltese be left out in the yard for any longer than they need to eliminate and perhaps run around for 5 to 10 minutes. This is a very sensitive breed that can quickly overheat. This breed will be happy in a small apartment or a huge sprawling farmhouse, as long as they are given their needed essentials. This dog should have their own quiet area to eat, a very comfortable dog bed to rest and sleep in, and a play area where it can always depend on knowing where their toys are. Barking Barking always has been and always will be the most efficient method a dog has to relate their emotions, feelings, and thoughts. Maltese barking may occur when the dog is trying to warn or protect its human family from danger. Or at least what he or she perceives to be a threat. If your dog is barking up a storm, you must access the situation. If you do not recognize a clear and present danger, it will be your job to teach and train your Maltese to also understand that their barking is not necessary. Chewing Chewing issues with your Maltese dog can cause havoc in your home. If you have an adult dog who seems to want to chew on everything except its toys, this can be resolved with a bit of training. The reasons for this could be boredom, separation anxiety, or nervousness. Each reason has its own set of symptoms. Once the cause is determined, help is on its way with a dose of training to help your Maltese cope with the underlying problem and be a happy and content dog. Training because Maltese are so focused on their people, they take well to training. Attention and the ability to please are all it takes to get a Maltese to learn. He's a ham who will show off tricks at home and excel in dog sports, including agility, obedience, rally and, believe it or not, tracking. A Maltese can also be a super therapy dog. Start training your puppy the day you bring him home. He is capable of soaking up everything you can teach him. Activity it is suggested to walk on streets without a lot of traffic and to be wary of dog parks where much larger dogs may be. 
While some breeds can splash happily in the water without effect, the Maltese is a bit susceptible to damp weather. Most Maltese are very tolerant of clothing and will happily wear a raincoat. When walking in warm weather, be sure to bring a supply of water. Limit walks to 20 minutes per day if the temperature climbs over 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 29.44 Celsius. Darker pigmentation. Exposure to the sun causes darker pigmentation. In fact, it is not uncommon for a Maltese dog's nose to fade a bit during darker winter months only to darken again in the summer. Being outside, or even laying in a sun-soaked room, can cause the dog's skin to blacken. Please note that if this trait is present and strong in a Maltese dog, even without sun exposure, it is going to emerge. If Maltese is predisposed to black pigmented skin, this will develop regardless of outside factors. Grooming The glamorous Maltese is a high-maintenance dog. The Maltese have a silky single white coat that should be groomed daily with a pin brush or a stainless steel comb to prevent or remove any mats and tangles. Maltese who are allowed to become matted will probably need to be trimmed short because it will be too painful to comb or brush out the mats. Trim his nails every week or two, and brush his teeth frequently with a vet-approved pet toothpaste for good overall health and fresh breath. Bathing Bathe your Maltese whenever his coat starts to look dingy. Before bathing, comb the coat out thoroughly to remove all tangles. Use a whitening shampoo, followed by a conditioner for dogs with long hair. Rinse thoroughly, and then rinse again to make sure you've removed all the shampoo and conditioner. Use a towel to soak up as much moisture as possible, then blow dry the coat until it is completely dry. Never let your Maltese air dry, or his coat won't look pretty at all. Health Maltese often suffer from chronic allergies and itchy skin conditions, as well as knee joint problems that can require expensive surgery. Other health problems in Maltese include eye diseases, heart disease, hypoglycemia, and epilepsy. To avoid these problems, buy your Maltese from the right breeder. And once you have your puppy home, you need to keep him healthy with proper care, with special attention to feeding and activity. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.